welcome back everyone so today i will be showing you the right way to install windows 11 both on the supported and the unsupported hardware we will also make sure that your previous windows activation key should be activated on windows 11 in case if you are upgrading from windows 10 to windows 11. Now before starting guys, make sure if this video helped you out, then please hit the like, subscribe, turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification. You can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your PC and laptop problem. Alright, so first you will have to bring up any of your favorite browser. Then you have to search for Windows 11 ISO download. Hit the enter key and then you have to click on the first link of Microsoft that says download Windows 11. Now here scroll down a bit and you will find an option download Windows 11 disk image. So click on the drop down choose Windows 11 multi edition. Then you will have to click on download now. Choose your product language. And also make sure that you choose the same product language that you had on your previous windows in case if you are upgrading. Click on confirm. Then you have to click on 64 bit download. And the downloading will now be started. Alright, so it's around 6.3 GB, so it will take some time, so let's wait until the downloading is completed. Okay, so once the ISO has been downloaded, now next bring up your browser again. And in a new tab, you have to search for Rufus. Hit the enter key. And you will come to this website. Here, scroll down and you will find Rufus 4.4.exe. You will have to click on it. The downloading will be started. Once it downloaded, click on the downloaded file. Click on yes and the Rufus dashboard will now be coming up. Now here on the very top in the device section you will have to click on the drop down and you have to choose the right USB that you want to make bootable and installation USB of Windows 11. So I have a pen drive here USB by the name SanDisk that contains 32 GB and it's recommended that you should take any USB that should be of at least 8 GB in space and you don't have any kind of data inside it because everything will be wiped out. So select the right USB, then from the boot selection, you will have to click on select on the right hand side. Now you will have to locate to the location where you have downloaded the Windows 11 ISO. Select it, click on open. Now in the partition scheme, you will be getting two different options, MBR and GPT. MBR is basically the partition style for the old computer. So you can go with the GPT, but in case if you have a very old device, then you can go with the MBR section. Now in the volume label, you can rename it like Win11 USB and now you can click on start. And once you click on start, this kind of box will be appearing up. So as I said in the beginning that you can install Windows 11 on both supported and the unsupported hardware. So let's say if you are trying to install Windows 11 on unsupported Windows 10, then you can keep this option checked that says remove requirement for 4 GB RAM secure boot and the TPM. So if you check this option, it will bypass these requirements and you would be able to install Windows 11 on unsupported Windows 10. Next you get remove requirement for Microsoft account. So if you don't need a Microsoft account, then you can keep this option checked. Create a local account and if you want that it should create a local account, then you can just type your desired username. Disable BitLocker if you want to disable it, then you can disable it. Disable data collection. Now in case if you have a supported hardware that support Windows 11, I would recommend you that kindly go ahead and uncheck this option. Now once you are done, you will have to click on OK. Then it says warning all the data on the device will be destroyed. So as I said, if you have any important data, then go ahead and take the data back first and then start the process. So click on continue or OK. And the process will now be started. So you will have to wait until the bootable USB is ready. Alright guys, so finally the Windows 11 bootable USB is ready now. Now we can connect this USB to the computer where we want to install Windows 11. Alright, so you need to click on close. Now take out the USB from this computer and connect to the one where you want to install Windows 11. So now once you have connected the USB to the computer, now you will have to start the device in the BIOS mode. So there can be different BIOS key like F2, Escape, F10 or F12. You can find that on the Google. Now restart the computer, then you have to tap on the BIOS key. Once you come in the BIOS, you have to look for the boot priority order or the boot sequence. Select the USB that you have connected, the bootable USB, select it, 
hit the enter key and the computer will now be loading with this particular bootable usb and then finally you will be getting this kind of windows installation page now here you have to click on next click on install now and now next it will say activate windows so this is another important page now here if you are fresh installing windows 11 then you just need to enter your product key over here and in case if you are upgrading from windows 10 to windows 11 then you will have to click on i don't have a product key okay now next screen it will ask you that which edition you want to go with so here if you are upgrading from windows 10 to windows 11 then you will have to choose the same edition that you had on your windows 10 if you want that your windows should be activated on windows 11 as well so let's say that if you had a windows 10 home edition then you have to choose the windows 11 home if you had windows 10 pro then you will have to select windows 11 pro select it then you have to click on next accept the terms click on next click on custom and now it will display all kind of drive connected to your computer i have only one drive connected so it's showing over here so i won't be creating any kind of partition but if you want to create a partition then you will have to select it click on new then type the amount that you want for this partition then you will have to click on apply i will not be creating any partition so i will simply click on apply click on ok then i will click on next and the windows installation will now be started okay so now here you have to wait until the installation is being completed okay so finally we are in the configuration page so here you have to choose your country or region click on yes choose the keyboard layout then click on yes second layout i will skip it now it will ask the device name so i will name anything like test pc then you have to click on next okay so it says how would you like to set up this device so i will go with the personal use so i will select it click on next okay now it will ask you the microsoft account so if you want to go with a microsoft account then you can type your email address and you can go ahead but in case if you want to bypass this then type any random hotmail account like prime at the rate hotmail.com so this is a random email i don't know whether it belong or not then you have to click on next then you have to type any random wrong password click on sign in oops something went wrong okay so this is a small trick now this time if you click on next it will ask you for a new local account and the microsoft account is easily being bypassed okay so now here you can type your desired local account name so this one i will rename it as testing pc then you have to click on next uh, type your desired password i will leave it blank so i will click on next again choose privacy setting for your devices so i will just uncheck all these options i will disable them i don't need then you have to click on accept bingo so now you can see the windows 11 has been successfully installed and now you are good to go and enjoy windows 11 but right now you can see that there are a lot of bloatware and these are occupying a lot of resources and if you want to optimize your windows 11 if you want to debloat them i've already created multiple videos on that i will leave few of the link in the description check that useful videos optimize your windows 11 for the best performance and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye